Hello and welcome to turn three of uh, the mission from White Dog Games. Turn three, we have a uh, New Era Begins check. Uh, we're going into the yellow, which is the early church. What this means is if we have any uh, apostles still alive, I don't think we do, uh, they're flipped to relics and wherever they are, we put on uh, bishops. I think we've got all our bishops out now. Uh, so they're all done. What we then also do is we will put out a Pope on every single major city as long as, well, we still do it, um, uh, uh, but we do it um, so that when a, uh, a field tile is on there, uh, it's available as a Pope. If there's no field tile there, then it's a heretical Pope. Uh, so you need to draw a heresy tile. Now, uh, on the major, we've got a field tile on every, it doesn't have to be converted. We have a field tile on each one, except for Constantinople, we're not there. Uh, so therefore we will get a heresy. Uh, so let's put these popes out. Uh, so um, I think uh, we need to go here. This is the Catholicos. Um, we've got the Pope in Rome. Uh, we will have a heretical Pope in Constantinople, a Patriarch, so we will draw a tile. Now even if this is an Ebionite, it will actually be uh, kept. Uh, it's a Gnostic. Uh, that's horrible. Um, uh, where else? Uh, we've got under D, we've got a Catholicos here as well. Um, even though we do have a heresy here, so uh, we have to deal with that as well. Uh, Pope on E is in Alexandria, and in F, uh, the servant in charge is in Carthage. Uh, we then carry on with our history phase. Uh, do we have a heresy tile to add to that? No, we do not. We do have a great theologian for, so this is Ignatius of Antioch, so we take off little counter here and he will be uh, available uh, to do things now. So we have nothing else to deal with in the history phase, we go on to the secular phase and we pull our wafer out. And what have we got? We have, oh we have an epidemic, but first uh, only one solidus. Uh, we get one plus one for North Africa because we have three uh, areas uh, converted with uh, the servant in charge available. Uh, so we've got two for the turn, which is pretty rubbish. There is uh, no change of Roman policy. Uh, there is an epidemic. Now an epidemic uh, allows you to build a hospital on the cheap. Alternatively, you can do a free conversion attempt. Uh, we would... Um, where we have the bishop and the Catholicos or, or Pope, we actually get a bonus for both of them. So maybe converting Armenia for free what might be nice, because um, we get a plus two here uh, for those slaves. Uh, where else could we look at? We could get Alexandria, which we need to crush the Ebionites here. Um, I think we might do that. Yeah, so let's get rid of the Ebionites. We've got a plus two, we have Pope and Bishop here. Uh, to get rid of a four, so that's our free epidemic roll. Um, so plus two to the dice. Uh, we do that. So the Ebionites are gone. I'm just thinking actually, maybe I couldn't do that. Because that is, yeah, that's not a conversion. That is end a heresy. Actually, I'll put that back. Uh, we can't do that. Um, so instead, probably we'd have we do we do the slaves then. Let's just do the slaves for that four. Again, it was a plus two. Um, great. Okay. So that's our epidemic, and we've got nothing else to uh, deal with for our wafer. So that goes away, and we're on to our really cheap religious phase. So we've only got two solidus here. The idea here is we want to get those three territories and the Pope to give us extra solidus. So uh, we don't have anything on uh, that row. So we, 
have the ebionites here um, and we have some pretty tough stuff going on there uh, we will need to move a bishop if we wanted to do anything have we anything now will cost we don't get any freebies but how hang on we do have our great theologian so the great theologian here uh, which for this turn is ignatius so he's on c and d uh, it can only can be used on one of those two paths um, here and here uh, I can do one of uh, two things one is that you can reduce the um, uh, Dark Ages marker uh, by one don't need to do that uh, we can protect an area we just plonk upon an area and protects the Christians there from apostasy from deconverting if you like um, which again is not really that useful for us or he can be used for evangelism and he's a bit like a uh, an apostle there he kind of gets these free uh, along the path he gets these free conversions um, so you can roll as many times as you like on as many lands as you like on that path until he fails when he fails then that's the end of the theologian so um, interestingly C and D we've got here on C sorry that's not that's E C and D here uh, we could try and get rid of Mithras here or on D um, again we might be able to do that although that's a plus one conversion there uh, we could use him to uh, convert here and maybe here or here to get us our three because we've got one at the moment so let's yeah let's go with um, with path uh, D and so we'll put our great theologian here first. He needs uh, anything but a one or a two to convert that area. And he gets it, so uh, that's a good start. Um, so we've got a choice here between these scholars and the aesthetics here. It's the same dice roll because the bishop will give you plus one. Um, hmm. uh, let's go with the aesthetics. So he needs a four, five or six to convert uh, his aesthetics here he fails so that's the end of the great theologian and uh, that's part of our religious Facebook now we've got uh, our money to spend so um, it may be worth actually trying to convert Kashgar because we've got the bishop and um, and then we've got three areas the Catholicos will help here but we've got a plus one it's really difficult that guy yeah and we need to do something over here it's not going well here uh, the bishop on a plus one in Greece with those martyrs also look at Rome certainly and a plus one and aesthetics there for a plus one I think the best bang for the buck is over here uh, where we try and get another three in a row well not in a row but three on the path to get our extra solidus I think that's the way to do it so uh, we'll go with um, go the bishop here so we'll spend a solidus and uh, plus one of the dice we need greater than a four and we get it so wonderful uh, that's that's our three areas on this path which is wonderful so we've got one solidus left what shall we do um, I'm kind of inclined where else is cheap or easy if you like I don't really need to do anything more here um, that will be done on a three to six uh, this will be a four to six well let's go for we could try and go for one of these and get rid of the ebionites yeah that's probably a good idea isn't it yeah let's spend to end this heresy we've got a plus two on it so that's a, a three or more and we get it just so the Ebionites there are gone that will set us up for converting Alexandria next turn and uh, that's all our money so we're kind of done uh, there's no dark age collapse uh, no Persian religion change and uh, there is no apostasy uh, in any of these places because then all the heresies are where the Christians aren't 
Uh, and that's it. We'll get on with turn four in, uh, in the next video. And uh, hopefully you'll join me then. Uh, until then, bye for now.